Today, I'm going to be giving you a closer look at this crafty photo video studio backdrop kit. Okay, so I've got my green screen up. So I'm ready to do action video and do anything I wanted really if I wanted to use this for video or photos. Um, it's just kind of a great thing. So the thing with this is that you've got um, the photo poles. So I've had other photo backdrops that I've used before, but I've had to like pin them to my wall because I haven't had the poles. And this is like a portable photo studio. It's a pretty sweet kit. So you've got the poles. Um, the two pieces that stand up this way and the poles cross here that you can adjust to whatever size you need. And it also comes with three different backdrops. I've got my green screen up. You also have a plain black backdrop and white. So these are the colors that I would really choose of different ones that I wanted. So it's great that this little kit comes with those. Um, you've also got this great bag for storing all of your poles. So it's got three sections here. Your poles go in the center and then your two stand pieces over here with the flap that goes down and it just wraps up like this and you've got a portable bag to take with you. So as far as storing this one away, it's pretty fantastic. Now let's give you a closer look at this actual um, mat here. So this is a, the backdrops are um, non-woven, comes with the three. So I feel like I could do a weather forecast with this. It's partially cloudy over here because um, I've got a green screen. But as you can see, we have uh, some creases that are in here. This one's straight out of the package. Now I have had backdrops that are these non-woven material, very, very similar. You just take a steam iron to that and get it out. And then if you roll them up in a careful way rather than having them folded, then you can avoid those creases. Also, if you've got a place to store these poles that you can just be hanging your backdrops from, you don't have to worry about them getting creased again. So, but this is uh, definitely a nice set. I'm gonna back up and give you a closer look at these poles and how big and small we can make this thing. All right, so this is a portable photo studio solution right here. Let's take a closer look at these poles that come up. Now, um, this whole setup is 10 by six and a half feet. Um, and you can definitely make this smaller. The poles come in separate sections, so you can leave a section out to make it more narrow this way. You can make it shorter over here. You've got adjusting knobs so that you can shrink the size. You have two of those. Okay, so that it'll come down like so. I've got mine fully extended to show you um, the highest height that you've got. You can make it more narrow. So if you, rather than having this big wide thing, you want more of like ceiling to floor look, you can take it and just put your, um, hang your backdrop this way vertically. So it's coming down to the floor. So you're standing on it and you've got that look there. Um, now all of these backdrops are nine by six feet, I believe. So anyway, you've got some good working room here. It comes with these great clips, which are super heavy duty. So you can just wrap your backdrop around here, clip them on, and it works great. So all of these things will just fold up. So you've got the two separate pieces here that go into the bag, and then you've got all your poles that you take apart and put away. It's super portable, easy to put up. We put this up in a matter of minutes, super simple. And you've got this great backdrop for all of your many purposes. So great color selection with the black screen, the green screen, and the white screen for all of your photo studio needs. These poles are obviously not limited to the three photo backdrop um, that come with it. It is a nice selection of those three, but I've got like a decorative backdrop that has a wood design. I can use any backdrop I want to with these poles. It's a super great setup. Um, it's great for when you're doing videos or pictures and you just want a plain backdrop, backdrop in the background. There's also a lot of apps that if you're using a backdrop, you can play around and add in your different uh, things to your photos and videos so it looks like something else is going on in the background. So, this is a pretty sweet studio. I haven't had too many good photography supplies like this. And so I would say that this is a great starter kit. There are other kits that you can get from Crafty that come with lights. I wanted to start building um, to get the poles and some great plain backdrops. And then later on, hopefully expand and get some photo lighting and things like that to go with it. So if you're looking to start out with a photography studio type equipment, whether you are an amateur, whether you are a um, an experienced 
it's photographer or a blossoming one that's trying to, uh, you know, improve their photography skills. Or if you're like me and you've got kids at home and sometimes Easter Sunday rolls around and you want a picture of all your kids in their Easter dresses or your kids in their Halloween costumes and you just can't find a blank wall to put people in front of or a clear empty space, this is a great size that you can prop this up anywhere and you've got a nice plain background behind you. You can adjust it. As you saw when I was back out there, I had some room there on the ground between the backdrop and the floor. Now I can simply lower those poles down for a shorter audience and have it right there at floor level. I can put it vertically here so that it's coming down and they're standing on it to get a full backdrop. Anyway, the sky's the limit with this, and these are some great backdrops. So I'm really excited about the things that I can do simply in my home and with my videos, having a plain backdrop. And that's when your closer look at this very portable studio, which all folds up and fits in this simple little bag, your poles. And then you've just got your um, different pieces there. You've got your clips and um, the backdrops, and that's it. So super portable great photo studio, and I can pretend to be a weather woman at any time with my green screen. And that's been your closer look.